Next, we have benchmarking. In simple terms, this is a, a process in which a firm compares itself to another, another company or another firm of uh, the same uh, the same type or stature or even someone that is superior or inferior than him uh, than them so benchmarking is a process by which a firm determines critical success factors studies the best practices of other firms for achieving these critical success factors and then uh, tries to implement this or improves uh, improves this uh, so that they can match or beat the performance of those competitors so basically when we do benchmarking we try to see how others do it and we try if that process also when applied to us would result to success mass customization is a management technique in which marketing and production process are designed to handle the increased variety that results from delivering customized products and services to customers. So actually, mass customization is uh, is an ironic term because if it is customizable, it cannot be mass produced. So uh, this concept is uh, is raised in such a way that uh, the products of a, available in the market should be uh, should be capable of mass production while also being capable of customization to uh, to address customers needs so what is an example of this uh, row houses so uh, real estate companies offer row houses they offer they offer uh, pre-designed houses for sale in subdivisions while they also allow certain modifications to be uh, to be infused in the design of the of the house that they are selling so that is mass customization because it has a baseline and it has some modifications available also some example that we can use there are softwares uh, company softwares like you the use of zero when we use zero uh, it is a basic software it is uh, for all but uh, when you subscribe, when the organization subscribes to Zero, uh, they can they can actually tweak uh, the homepage of their organization in such a way that it allows personalization. Also, we can use add-ons, and maybe the most basic example here is when you buy a cellular phone, you buy it uh, as a bare unit. But you can customize it accordingly and you can add uh, cases and designs to it so that it meets your needs. So that is mass customization. Balance scorecard is an approach uh, that, uh, that gives the, the accounting and the, 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 the company as a whole uh, foresight of critical success factors in four specific areas uh, for for the organization. So in here, we don't only consider uh, financial perspective, we consider four per perspective in terms of innovation and learning, financial performance, customer satisfaction, and internal business process. So in this type of scorecard, we actually assign scores, uh, assign activities or key success factors in each of the quadrants and then we provide scores to them and determine which area do we need to improve the most next is activity based costing so activity analysis is used to develop a detailed description of the specific activities performed in the operation of the firm so we need to analyze all activities in an organization uh, so that we are familiar with how they are and how how they pro produce cost, how they incur cost in relation to those activities. Activity-based costing is used to improve the accuracy of cost analysis by improving the tracing of cost to products or individual customers. So in here, actually, costing or costs are uh, assigned per activity. Costs are tracked 
traced rather per activity. So it is uh, it provides high uh, responsibility because uh, each activity is uh, has an assigned cost and traceable cost to them. Activity-based management uh, uses uh, this method, activity analysis, to improve operational control and management control. So, through activity analysis and activity-based costing, we are able to identify areas in the organization that incur cost more than the other and areas that might need uh, cost reduction measures. So, it is necessary for, for activity-based management to, to see uh, costs incurred at the grassroots level. Theory of constraints. It's a sequential process of identifying and removing removing constraint, constraints in a system. So, uh, what are constraints? These are bottlenecks. These are uh, these are activities in an organization that causes inefficiency. So, how do we do this? We analyze all the factors of production required in the production chain ultimately there would be an item there that uh, that limits the production or this would be what we call the constraint and we uh, we focus our efforts in improving this weakest link so that it won't be the weakest link anymore so then the when improvement uh, efforts are successful it won't be the weakest link and if that is the case we will have another weakest link in which we will go back to the to the first item where we analyze all the factors of production then i then then this weakest link is identified and then we focus improvement until such time that we go round and round on this until there is no more weakest link or ultimately there will always be something that needs to be improved in an organization Life cycle costing is a management technique to identify and monitor the cost of a product throughout its life cycle. It is from development up to sales. So research and development, uh, product design, uh, manufacturing, inspecting, packaging and warehousing, marketing, promotion, distribution, up to sales and after sales efforts. So it is important to determine the costs involved from the research and development phase up, up to the after sales phase to determine whether uh, whether the product actually is uh, is doing good throughout its life cycle, whether it causes the company to bleed or to earn. Next is target costing. This is a simple concept wherein uh, we develop uh, we we develop a cost that we want uh, we target to incur for the product that we are preparing, uh, so that uh, we can achieve a desired profit and the desired selling price. So this is applicable when we have uh, when we have a product that is sold competitively in the market. For example. Uh, cupcakes are sold at 25 pesos in market so we should only be selling uh, cupcakes at 25 pesos so if we want to earn 10 pesos profit per cupcake we only need to spend 15 pesos for the production of said cupcake so if we have computed that the cost involved costs involved in producing this cupcake is around uh, 17 pesos or 18 pesos we will not be able to we will not be able to reach the target profit so if we if we then what we will do we might consider not pursuing the selling of that product because it does not meet the minimum cost that we we actually need to be able to become profitable for said product selling next is computer aided design so this is the use of of course com use of computers in product development analysis and design modification so that is simply it, computer aided design uh, nowadays it is vital for us to 
to be knowledgeable on the use of computers in uh, in designing and also uh, in the manufacturing phase of the business because uh, nowadays uh, technologies are present for businesses so that they can they can manage and oversee their operations seamlessly. So computer-aided manufacturing is the use of computers to plan, implement, and control production. So that also involves uh, simulations in the system wherein they can simulate production and the uh, required production period for a specific order. Automation is involves and requires relatively large investment in computers, computer programming, machines, and equipment. Automation is such uh, a situation wherein uh, human intervention is minimally required. Not that it's not required because it is required to start the process, but it is uh, it is a situation where human intervention is minimally required. Like for example, there are certain uh, machines that closes the lids for for bottles. Flexible manufacturing system is a computerized network of automated equipment that produces one or more group of, of parts or variations of a product in a flexible manner. So in here, uh, we, can, we can have this type of equipment that can do one thing or the other uh, alternatively. So, so that uh, procurement of machines specifically intended for that would not be required anymore. Computer integrated manufacturing it's a manufacturing system that totally integrates all office and factory function within a company via a computer-based information network and uh, allow hour by hour manufacturing management. So in here, uh, the manufacturing process is uh, over is in oversight by uh, by a computer system. So in here, we are able to oversee everything in the in the operations in the manufacturing process through the use of a computer system e-commerce is a business model that lets firms and individuals buy and sell things over the internet so this is a trend that actually uh, sprout uh, further in this season where in in this uh, in this situation that we are having right now specifically because uh, because we are limited to go outside now uh, online businesses are booming and this business model allows individuals to transact without actually meeting personally value chain is an analysis tool that firms use to identify the specific steps required to provide a product or service to the customer this is the uh, this is the chain of activities that in which the organization is engaged to uh, which adds value to the product so by analyzing value chain we are we are able to enhance quality reduce costs increase output and eliminate delays in responding to customers because uh, this is similar to other concepts in in the business platform nowadays wherein we we see those items that add value to the product and we try to eliminate or minimize those activities that do not add add value to the product rather what is then what is an example of that if uh if the product is uh, produced on a production line and uh it is required to be transferred from one unit to another and it takes like half day for for the products in process to be transferred from one unit to another uh, as a result of the value chain analysis we might move the move the production line to a closer area so that transfers would be done seamlessly or they could be done there and then 